Hello my dear friends today's promise verse is from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 15 it states behold i will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff this verse is a part of larger passage in which the prophet Isaiah is speaking on behalf of god addressing the nation of israel and assuring them of god's protection and guidance the metaphor of threshing sledge with sharp teeth is used to convey the idea of god's power and strength the threshing sledge is a tool used to separate the grain from chaff and sharp teeth represent the ability to crush and destroy anything that stands in the way this imagery is used to communicate the idea that god has the power to overcome any obstacle and that he will use that power to protect and guide his people the phrase thresh the mountain and crush them is a metaphor for overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles mountain in the ancient world were often seen as a symbol of strength and stability so the idea of thrashing or crushing them speaks to the idea that god can overcome even the strongest and most entrenched obstacles this can be interpreted as reminder that god is able to help his people overcome any obstacle they may face in their lives whether they are physical emotional or spiritual the phrase reduce the hills to chaff serves as a metaphor for destroying anything that is insignificant or unimportant in the ancient world hills were seen as smaller less significant obstacle so the idea of reducing them to chaff speaks to the idea that god can remove even the smallest of obstacle this can be interpreted as a reminder that god is able to help his people deal with even the smallest of problem or concern and that nothing is insignificant or unimportant in the eyes of god in addition to the imagery of threshing sledge the verse also includes the phrase behold i will make you this phrase emphasizes the idea that god is actively involved in the lives of his people and that he is not a passive observer he is actively working to protect and guide his people and he is making them into the tools he need to accomplish his purpose this verse can also be understood as a reminder that god is in control of everything and that he is able to use even the most difficult and challenging circumstances for his purpose the imaginary of thrashing mountain and crushing hills emphasize the idea that god is able to overcome any obstacle no matter how difficult or insurmountable it may be seems this can be interpreted as the reminder that god is able to work through even the most difficult situations and that he can bring good out of even the most challenging circumstances furthermore this verse can also be interpreted as a call to action for the people of israel the imagery of threshing sledge implies that they will be the ones doing the threshing and that they will be the ones who will be used by god to overcome obstacles this can be interpreted as a reminder that god will use his people as a tool to accomplish his purpose and that they have an important role to play in carrying out god's plan additionally this verse serves as a reminder of god's sovereignty he is in control of everything and he is able to use even the most difficult and challenging circumstances for his purpose He is the one who can help us overcome any obstacles we may face whether they are physical, emotional or spiritual. He is one who can give us the strength and power we need to overcome any challenge. In conclusion, Isaiah chapter 41 verse 15 is a powerful reminder of 
God's protection and guidance. Thank you.